Oh, hey, my pasta from yesterday. I mean, there's fish in it. But surely it's still good, right? So yeah, I've not been doing so hot this week, and as a result of that, I don't have that much to show you. Let's see what we have. Okay, so this is me trying to figure out where the frame drops in the last recording came from, and quite frankly, I couldn't figure it out. I think there might have been something wrong in the background instead of the game, but I took that opportunity to still optimize some stuff. I optimized some shaders, some materials, and I set up occlusion cut. So, at the end of it, there were a few more frames than there were before. Nice. I also fixed the value for fall damage, so doing this mandatory jump no longer kills you. Nice. At this point, I did a quick run through the level to ensure that you could actually navigate the whole thing without getting stuck. Yeah, you get the gist. I then started to repopulate the level with enemies and their triggers, because I deleted those in order to make the pretty level. The actual enemy encounters are probably still subject to change, mostly because I want to redesign at the very least the shotgun enemy, so he's a bit more visually distinctive and you can immediately tell this is a guy with a shotgun. Which is important for this kind of shooter, you need to be able to immediately identify what enemy does what, and build your strategy around it. You can see me here working on the triggers, and they're fairly straightforward. They're just uh, calling a Unity event, or a collection of Unity events, I guess, and all those do is activate enemies that have been previously deactivated. I also went into the last section of the level and kind of helped the ambient light out a little bit. Sometimes you gotta cheat a little bit because the results you're getting aren't more exactly what you want. But unlike in real life where you have to like contend with physical lights and what you can do with them, in Unity you can just slap a light that doesn't have a source somewhere and if you do it right it looks better. So that's what I'm doing here, basically cheating, creating a little bit of ambient light where it hasn't been before, just to make this whole section a little better looking. You're allowed to do that. also tried to implement a checkpoint system and failed miserably so that's a problem for future me the last big thing that i did this week though it's not done yet was to start working on making the boss actually functional now i had already started on setting up some of the ik and first thing i did was finishing that at first i used the infantry ai from the normal bot enemies to test things but then relatively quickly started writing a new state machine for the boss as well as new states because the old one i've written yeah it has issues and i'm probably going to rework it at some point depending on the timeline and how much you know how much trouble it causes in the future what i have finished so far is the basic movement code for the boss basically what he'll do is he will start a fight by walking to a random waypoint in his arena. Once he has arrived at that waypoint, he will wait for a little bit and then either, 50-50 chance, either walk to a new waypoint or dash to a new waypoint. I figured that would be a fun way of keeping the player on his toes, or on their toes I suppose, just by making the boss occasionally just move a little bit faster. I spent the better part of a day ironing out bugs and it's still not quite perfect, but the movement is serviceable now 
And next week, I'm gonna teach him how to be violent. So that's gonna be fun. I'm sorry that this week was a little bit shorter and that I didn't get that much stuff done. But, you know, you can't help it. But I guess I could eat less bad fish. But who would want that? Anyways, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please do consider subscribing. There is a rumor, I guess, or I don't know if it's been confirmed or not, that YouTube is lowering its uh, requirements to becoming a partner to down to like 500 subscribers. And I think that's a realistic number for us to hit. So if you could do that, that would be really, really nice. I would highly appreciate it. Regardless of whether or not you end up subscribing, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. I am aiming for releasing a video on every Friday unless there is some sort of higher power or a lot of real life coming in the way. So I will see you then. Bye bye.